JT Thor is one of the more compelling prospects in this class. While he's still a raw 18 year old, you also see a guy who is 6'9 with a 7'3 wingspan, blocks shots, defends on the perimeter, and has had some special offensive moments and can't help but be interested. Like I mentioned before, he's far from a finished product, but a player with his versatility on both ends who can shoot it, handle it, and hold his own defensively across the floor is going to get him a ton of mid first round looks. Jackson, handoff. Allen blocked on the outside, deflected. Wheeler, mismatch on Thor. We'll go in on one break. Sar, double team. Brooks the ball. Cooper, good ball screen action. He can see the court so well. Shot short. Rebound there by Thamba. Feed. Yeah, it looks like the foul occurs, and here's that blocked shot. Sills feeling it. Dish to Smith and a one. Luke Garza. Back to live action. Four point lead for Harden. Yeah. They have been able to exploit the size. Poked away by Thor. Goes to coach. There's, there's been a few of those. Ooh, there's a bad pass and a turnover. Thor. Right. Thor takes the Southern team out. Outside the three-point line gets space in with that. Third the tide. On the move. Oh, and a giveaway. JT Thor. From Auburn. Scott Drew does such a good job. Getting that chemistry just right. Does it not? With the struggles that Kentucky's having scoring. Yeah. Guys physically they're capable, able, capable to do that. And when I said play through contact, 6'6", 210, he can overpower and go through a lot of guys. So a team, that's what makes a team like They can't survive that way. Thor. And a win that was particularly satisfying, I would say, on Conzo Mark. such freedom on the offensive end and they I think they do a good job of understanding freedom means what for Auburn. Johnson trying to get back in the Pretty. play. It's Thor! Devin Cambridge picked up his third foul that last trip down for Auburn. Chance for the Tigers. Look at the hands by Thor on the backside steal. Thor on the finish. The yes. For Schiller. For Boog and Fran, if you prefer. Inside. Step back, Jay. Rims out. Rebound battle. Scooped up. Thor. Yeah, about winning this segment. Close the half by winning this last two On This roster, a lot of upperclassmen. For the Rebels, Thor to the basket. Under two minutes to play. Auburn down by four to Kentucky. Cooper needs help. Lob it in. Thor. Cooper open floor. Took it down with it. Thor follows. You get JT 
puts it on the deck. Oh, excellent feed. Four. Flanagan looking at a three-pointer. Offensive rebound. Four down inside. And he will finish that. Climbs the ladder. Yeah, two guys trying to block a shot. Nobody gets a body. Four. Cooper. He had a double-double on Saturday. Ride Cambridge off, not allow him to get into the lane, and then elevation. There's Thor, lines it up, knocks it in. There's a good defensive trip for St. Charles. Thor corralled it. It's inside this year tonight, flexing its muscles defensively. Alan Flanagan. Shot clock again, under 10. Auburn had lost three in a row to Baylor, Georgia, and Ole Miss. So it, it, it's everything's new for new players. There is still a lot to work on for Thor. I think he should, and I'm sure he already has been working diligently on his three-point shot. That'll decide a lot of his NBA future. He was just a 30% shooter from out there, but he does have great fluidity and solid technique. He's going to need to cut out some of these bad decisions offensively. He didn't have the ball a ton, but things like passing out of doubles, ball security, and shot selection on drives could use some tweaking. And physically, he'll need to get stronger and likely gain weight to hang in the league. He rarely guarded opponents in the post, and offensively he had some issues turning that corner strength-wise and jumping to the rim instead of fading. Uh, Auburn is just blocking shots at such a high rate. And especially if he could shoot the ball like that, that would be a big plus. Most of the season, so their true, true point guards aren't there. What is Kansas and Tennessee at six, a rematch of last year's beating. Tough out in this conference. You know they're capable of putting up triple digits in the 90s. Yeah, that Funny. was uh, the, it was the <laughs> it was the company car. Deny the ball back to Cooper. Out on top. Cambridge collects and five. At Auburn, seven shots now make it. Really eight. overwhelmed St. Joe's with their athleticism. Four with Paul Cooper on the floor. Did they exhale and think, okay, we got this and relax? Man, if that's the case. Now you see this is a two three zone again. Can, can Sharif quickly identify the differences? Went to Alabama when he was there. He kind of bumped in there at the line at Starbucks. Kick. Ball fake. More for Thor. Game is kind of to watch out for Xavier Pinson, who was terrific in that balls win. What plus 35 on the at the free throw line were the Razorbacks on the tail. Was that lazy pass? Thor takes the ball to the basket. In this series, he had 14 blocks in the first matchup. Here's Thor with the turnaround. Maryland, they have good wins though. Like they, they have, like yes. that. I would play an argument. The services of Sharif oh. Cooper. They had to play defensively. They played Georgia. Oh, great lob. Get some deflections. Get some get some bad passes or something to get you going the other way. Carolina team and uh, Frank would love for him to be even more aggressive. Scoring the basketball. Like Timeout. Auburn's possession not going anywhere. Shot clock under five. They get a Thor into the paint. Steady. They have to get themselves in a position to battle back. They're only down six in pretty good shape. There you go. With the long arm in that denial position. If I have a pass up top against Brooks. Hey, it's Dre. Turn it up.
Denver's just been shooting it extremely well since the start. Not only is it effective, but it's something that's beautiful to watch. Oh, that is just Alexander gives it up. Baisley. Penetration. Do here got Lyles up in the air. Long strike. Before the last several seasons, a guy like JT Thor would have usually gone back to college for another season of development. But with the functionality of the G League and teams looking further and further ahead with their scouting, Thor is a perfect upside swing. It'll be imperative for him to do all the normal offensive skill development, along with improving physically which will add to his versatility. Getting him those game reps, simplifying the game as it hopefully slows down for him, and working on his decision making will be key as well. There's a ridiculous range for him as a prospect, but I'd heavily consider him with the OKC and Houston mid first round picks, as well as a few other late firsts into the early second round.